Hi everybody, my name is Max and I'm within the business unit test and measurement at Kistler. I hope you have watched the first video about cable solutions where I explain the most important points about cables. Today I will focus on the triboelectric effect and why this is an important topic when it comes to piezoelectric measurements. This effect is well known from one common example and maybe you have done it on your own, rubbing a balloon on your head or on your arm until the hairs stand up. And today I will demonstrate this effect to you on a complete piezoelectric measuring chain. But first some theoretical background. The term tribo was derived from the Latin word tribere, which means friction. This effect describes the electrical charging of two materials by rubbing. Each material has a dielectrical constant which defines the surface charge density when two materials touch or even rub. They become charged depending on the dielectric constants of both materials. The triboelectric series describes which materials are positively charged and which are negatively charged. If a material is in balance, for example including 20 protons and 20 electrons, the condition is stable. As soon as two materials touch, they start to unbalance the condition. Here the triboelectric effect takes place. The molecules form an electromagnetic bond and a new bigger molecule gets formed. This molecular is either positively or negatively charged. This depends on the material type. As both materials are now on the same energy level, they try to stay in contact with each other. Now coming to the practical part. With piezoelectrical measurement technology, we can acquire very small charge signals in the range of picocoulomb. Therefore, any additional type of charge can cause change in the measurement signal. The triboelectric effect affects cables and connectors and has an important influence on the measurement signal. I have prepared a measuring chain to demonstrate this effect to you. Two identical sensors are connected with a cable to the charge amplifier. The main difference is that one cable is modified in a bad condition and the second cable is a typical Kistler cable with a typical coating. I will demonstrate this effect to you by doing a simple measurement and shaking the cables. So let's start. After setting up the measuring chain, I start the measurement for 5 seconds and put a weight on each sensor and immediately shake both cables. The result is clear. We acquired extensive disturbances in the signal with the bad cable, shown in the red. This happened alone due to friction within the cable and did not happen to the Kistler cable, shown in green. Depending on the material properties like surface roughness, surface geometry and oxidation behavior, this effect can be minimized. Also, environmental influences such as pressure and contamination should be avoided, since they amplify this effect. Keep in mind, to avoid disturbances in the measurement signal, Kistler offers cables with special material layers which are optimized to isolate the measurement signal and provide optimal output. I hope this brief introduction to triboelectric effect is helpful for you. If you have any questions about cable solutions, our sales and application specialists are happy to help you.